Hey everybody, I wanted to share some thoughts and reflections with you, hopefully that will challenge, inspire and bless you today. I wanted to talk to you uh, about Jesus when he was 12 years of age. He'd been celebrating the Passover in Jerusalem with his parents and they're, they're traveling back home. And can you believe it? Mary and Joseph, they end up losing Jesus. I mean, how can you lose the son of God? But that's what they did. And, and so they suddenly realized to their shock and horror, oh my goodness, we thought Jesus was traveling back with us, but with friends, with family, and, and he wasn't. So they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. Uh, three days later, they found him. And where was he? He was in the temple. And I want to just read a few verses of scripture um, about that account that when they find him in the temple because there's something really profound about what these scriptures say and some insight that we can really tap into. So the passage is Luke chapter 2 and verse 46 and 47 and it says this, after three days they found him in the temple courts sitting amongst the teachers listening to them. Now listen to this, listening to them and asking them questions. And then it says, and everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. So here Jesus is, he's the son of God. He knows all things. He's omniscient. That means is a posh word saying he, he knows all things. And yet here he is, he's listening and he's asking questions. Now, was it that Jesus didn't know the answer? Well, of course not, because he, he knows everything. He's, he's God. He's omniscient. But Jesus, I think, was asking questions because often we learn the most and we are able to teach the most through asking people questions. And here Jesus, he was listening. He was valuing the people that he was sat with, he was valuing those teachers and he was asking questions. And it's amazing that the people here, they're, they're astonished. They're bowled over. They're so impressed with Jesus. And what's Jesus doing? He's listening. He's asking questions. And he's showing through this, he's showing tremendous understanding and answers. And often how Jewish rabbis tend to learn and Jewish teachers learn from one another is that if someone asks a question, the way to kind of help kind of to, to, to drill deeper and get a deeper understanding is to, to ask an even better question that just kind of fires off all sorts of other things in our in our hearts and in our minds. And this is what Jesus is doing. He's asking questions. And I want to encourage you uh, in this season, I want to be encouraging you to ask questions. I think that this is a really key season where we're in a prophetic pivot of preparation. And one of the ways that we can prepare is through listening, as Jesus did, and asking questions. And in this season, there's three questions that I'm asking that I think are really, really important. The first question I'm asking is, what do I need to let go of? What do I need to lay down? And, you know, I, I really do believe that there are things that we need to lay on the altar. There should be no sacred cows. We shouldn't be afraid to make some beef burgers out of some sacred cows. There are some things that we need to let go of. You know, in the, in the Bible, it talks about the Israelites and how that they were had received this you know, bread from heaven, but they were only, it was only daily bread. So if they kept the bread beyond its sell by date, beyond the day, then it would be all smelling and rotten and, and, and it, it would stink. So it was just enough for the day. So, you know, they had to let go. And when they held on to things, that was when it started to, to go off. So some things we need to, as, as the Disney theologian said, let it go. Some things we need to let go in this season. Second question that we need to ask is what do I need to keep but change? And I think that there are some things that we're to keep hold of. It's not that we're to get rid of them, but we need to 
change them, maybe do more of something, maybe do less of something, maybe it's flip something uh, on its head, do it in a different way. You know, my phone recently pinged up with a notification saying that it wanted to update the software on my phone. It was saying that it would fix bugs, that it would make it more efficient, that there are even some new features that I would be able to access. It wasn't that I needed to get a new phone, but I just needed to make some changes to the software on the phone in order that it could function more efficiently and effectively. And then the third question I believe that we should be asking in this season is, what are the new things that I need to be picking up or perhaps learning? And I really do believe that in this season, as we posture ourselves in humility with listening and questioning, I believe that God's going to reveal to us some of those new things that we're meant to be grasping, these opportunities that we're meant to be maximising, taking advantage of in this season. And I really do believe that the answers to question number one, you know, what do I need to lay down? Number two, what do I need to keep but change? I believe that the answers to them will help free up the space, the capacity that we need to embrace the new things that God wants to place in our laps. You know, if we if you've got your you know arms full of yesterday's bread, when God comes along with you know today's fresh bread, fresh manna baked from the oven of heaven, you've already got your arms full. You're not going to be able to receive that additional, that new bread that God wants to bring in. So I really want to encourage you to be processing, uh, listening and asking those questions uh, in this season. And hey, I'd love to hear about maybe some questions, some other questions that you might be asking uh, in this season. And I'd love to hear about what you've been listening and learning as well. Hope you found this helpful. Please do like and share if you have found it a blessing to you. God bless you all. Lots of love.